I think we'll move from movies to TV shows. What are you guys watching at the minute? What would you recommend? Uh, Mark, I'll let you, let, let you start this here. I'm not really watching anything, to be honest with you. Um, like, well, the, well, whether whether you're watching something now or you have watched something that you think people should be watching, well, let's hear it. Uh, Mr. Robot, just watch it. It's fantastic. It's an absolute, It's probably the best television show that's been made um, in the past, I'd say, decade. Because on mic, certain other TV shows that will not be named, the quality is constant. Because <laughs> all, all I know about it is that Rami that Malek will not is be named. <laughs> I, I know it has something that has something to do with hacking or programming or something like that. There, that's really all I know about it. It's not as much about hacking and programming. It's it's a lot actually about uh, like mental illness and psychosis. It's really actually good. It's really good. It's a complete mind right. in some parts, but it's really good. It's fantastic. Like watch it. it it's 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 like. It's good in the quality. Like I haven't seen the final season, but like seasons one to three, there's only going to be four mm. seasons, which I think is a sensible thing, and uh, not to drag it out longer than it needs to be. Or, you know, be the length that it was meant to be, and don't alter it in any way, either shortening it or lengthening it, and just keep the quality constant. So yeah, mm. watch that. Well, okay. as, as our teachers used to say, when one when giving us essays to do, it's it's as long as it has to be. So as long as it should be. Yeah. It should be. Yeah. <laughs> Has the to be. The longer the better. Yeah. Oh, Alex is back. Do you go to the toilet? I had to feed the cat. Feed the cat. All right. Are you putting the camera back on? Good man. Yeah. All right. Okay. Are you actually going to interact with us now? <laughs> right. So we're actually on TV shows. So if you've got any to recommend at the minute, like what are you watching at the minute? Last Kingdom. Uh, that was actually a f- that season. was actually a TV show that I was talking to Dylan about. I said Alex was talking about. Oh no, I was actually talking to my line manager about it actually because he was asking me like, "What am I watching at the minute?" And I'm saying nothing. But my friend recommends some movie that's kind of set further back than Vikings, and because I remember it's you saying that series or sorry not movie a TV show set back uh, further than uh, the Viking and. And then, and then he was like, "Oh, what is it?" And I couldn't think of the name. So, uh, the last Viking. Okay, I'll tell him about it. Uh, I'm not watching anything at the minute. But how was the last Viking? Because yeah, like all, like all I've heard about it is that um, it's it's either about some it's the dude that we're following. And he's like he's either he's a Viking that was raised in England, or he's an oh, Englishman an English raised in the Viking. Earl, son, those raised as a Viking. All right. Okay. And then returns to England. No, okay. He doesn't want to give too much away, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all right, fair enough. <laughs> that's, but that's yeah, it does look good. Production, but like I seen a trailer for the latest season. Well, a for bit season. of footage from from the last trailer, and uh, the production value looks insane. Now, first season might seem a bit cheesy, but season two, season three. Season four. All right. Well, hopefully, it can it can hold up in season five. If there is, is there going to be a fifth season? Isn't there? Well, I think so. Well, hopefully, it can hold up because Vikings. It's, it's a Netflix show. Made, so. made four seasons of beautiful stuff, and then season five. Although yeah. it wasn't completely horrible, it it was a big dip in quality and the latest season or the late the, the, the latest the first half of the latest season was a bit it said good it said goodbye to a major character who i'm not going to mention and um the, the second half of the sixth and final season is yet to come but uh yeah the last kingdom is a show i've been meaning to watch it, it the production value looks good it's, it, I just wanted to wait until Vikings was over to start watching it because I didn't want to watch two shows that are too similar at the same time. I, I just, you know, rather you know finish a show and then move on to something that sort of keeps the same thing. So, so I'm not, you know, it's it's a it's a weird way to go about it. But I I just didn't feel like watching shows like two shows that are so similar at the same time. 
I I've only watched I think the first episode of Vikings. Absolutely first season. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! First season of uh, Vikings, and uh, all I'll say is in the first season that main character Ragnar. If they've killed him off, which I've heard from you guys that they have, I will stop watching. It's worth the journey, Alex. I can't hear you. It's, it's worth the journey. It might be, the, it might be, but I'm gonna stop in season three and a half or whatever the fuck they've got rid of him, and that's it. That's it. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be literally like Superman from my generation. That's the character for, or that's the actor for that character, and if you get rid of him, bye bye. So if you get rid of Rick, bye bye. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah. if The Walking Dead well, get rid of Rick... Fin- it finished to the very, very end of season four. And if that that's the time to give up if you want to give up, but finish to the very, very end. I'll see. I'll see. Anybody no else? what happens in season four and get to the very end, and then if, if you're not happy with what happens... Any- anybody else got any show recommendations, Mark? Uh, for me, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's so good. This is their last season. It's so good. They're in their final season now. The first episode aired there last week, last a few days ago, and it's a show because the the CW shows like Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, the, the Legends of Tomorrow. They all get so much media attention. There's so many people talking about it, but all of them have worse uh, critic ratings than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. All of them have less you know, people watching them. Like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has more people watching and has higher ratings. But for some reason there's the media isn't pushing it. Like There's nobody, there's no media that's talking about it enough to the point where it's getting as much talk as The Flash. There's just so much. I don't, I don't understand it and it's not even getting awards attention either with, like the CW shows are getting. Which is another thing, like the Saturn Awards, which is like the probably the the most is the the probably the biggest award show for sort of small geek like uh, things like that. There, it says that it should be getting nominated for awards there, but it's not, and it it pisses me off because the writing is so fucking good. Uh, pretty much any fucking uh, YouTube reaction channel that has picked it up and started watching it has fallen in love with it. And it's I don't I do not understand why people because like given like the first ten episodes of the first season they're a bit rough to get through for some people I thought they were fairly good but from but once it ties in with Captain America the Winter Soldier with the fall of the shield it gets so interesting it's so good the acting is just top notch the character development over the seven seasons of the six seasons we've seen so far has been fucking unreal it's just it's so consistent that they're, they're, they have so many good twists and turns it just keeps you guessing you can never there's so many people that have not mm-hmm. seen any of the twists coming like you can't say it's predictable because it is not it's fucking fantastic and it pisses me off that not enough people watch it and it gets shit on because of those first 10 episodes that people seen and just assumed the show is a pile of shite because it's just it's fantastic so if if there's a show to watch right now and you're a big geek agents of shield is the show to watch i think all right what about you mark um uh, um i guess what, what is a good show i, I quite like the grand tour oh. especially especially the episodes where they go on like the, the road trips, trips. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the highlights. Yeah, yeah. Those are the dudes from Top Gear. Yeah, yeah. The dudes from Top Gear. And, and well, can say... I just can I just add that I respect what the other two dudes done when there was this big hassle with Jeremy Clarkson and the BBC. Mm. The other two guys were like, "Fuck it, we're leaving too," and left, and went and created. A completely separate TV show with Same Amazon. Concept. Same, no, mm-hmm. bit different concept because they actually host it in different areas of the world every 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 season. Um, uh, not really. That's only for the first season. Then. Oh, okay. The same place. All right, but like not their like road trips and stuff in every season. No, no, no. Just, yeah. So like, 
Oh. Um, season has just been told the wee like stories that they used to do like specials. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I I like that. That's what I preferred most about Top Gear. Like I didn't really like the car shit. Like I just loved it. Like we've thrown. Three d three, three dudes in the into the, the shittest yeah. cars in the middle of fucking Syria, and they're dodging fucking nuclear warheads in fucking Priuses. <laughs> you know, it is mad. Like it's mad what they'll do, but they just do it, and it's like they're up on this mountain that's got a, a fucking meter, like the distance of it. Like the mountain and the road is a meter wide, and they're driving two meter long or with cars. Like, and it's just like they're head, like, I know they didn't, but I'm just like using an example. I don't know if they have actually went up mountains and stuff like this, but like, it's just like what I'm trying to get is the producers for the Grand Tour will just sign Jeremy Clarkson and the other two up for absolutely fucking anything. And it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's it show. is great. <laughs> Another good show that's like a bit of a hidden gem on Amazon Prime is also, is also uh, James May in Japan. I actually have mm -hmm. seen things on that. I haven't I haven't actually watched it, but I've seen if things you, on if it. If you like James May, which I do, I, I quite like him. Uh, you Who like is him? James May? He sounds familiar. He's Who the guy this? with Jeremy Clarkson in Top Gear. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. there's well, Jeremy he's Clarkson. The small, he's the smallest dude. Yep, yeah, Jeremy okay. Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond. Like, uh -huh. James May is kind of like the boring dude that's into like loads of technical stuff, I guess. But like, I actually, yeah. I actually liked him the most out of the three. I'm not uh, I, I liked him the it's because you're like, both the boring dude, anyway. But he's got quite a good uh -huh. dry wit, but like, especially him going through Japan, and it's a fantastic yeah. show. So he catches know. the corona, and then a week later, he gets rid of the corona. It's China, man, <laughs> not Japan. Yeah, but it's great show, really. Same same difference. On, uh, F or on uh, Prime. <laughs> what did you say there, Nathan? What? I said same difference. Oh, same difference. Is what I yeah. Yeah. Did you hear um, that, folks, that's the sound of demonetization. <laughs> it's not like we're monetized anyway. But I don't have a show to give you guys because I'm not watching anything. I'm watching my show you have watched that you yeah. think people should watch. Yeah, it's called YouTube forward slash shizzle CW. That's what it's I called. Don't plug it here if you're not going to plug that's, it. Channel that's, 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 that's what it's called. Thing. That's what it's called. The reason being is because I only watch myself. Nah, I don't even watch myself. I I record a video every day. <laughs> I I record a video. I edit it. I edit the video. I upload the video, and that's it. I don't have time for TV shows. I'm on that fucking YouTube grind. I am on that grind. I don't got time to watch shows. I don't got time to watch YouTube videos. If it mm, unless it's DW subscribe so we can see me from shave his head. I want to see that big bald head and everything. <laughs> Man, <laughs> man, I have never, I have never been bald, ever been bald. So do you realize how big this is for me? Like, the last time I was bald was when I came out of my fucking mother's vagina. That's the last time I've been bald. And let me tell you, that thing was certainly not bald. I remember, <laughs> it was not bald. I came out with a fucking mouthful of fucking hedge. Yeah, All right, then. but I'm not watching anything at the minute. I'm currently just like focusing on me, my career that I wanted, I wanna, I wanna do. Uh, yeah. So unless you, unless unless you, unless you classify the uh, show of Nathan, which is where I basically just go and live like any normal person so it's kind of like a life series then yeah that's the only fucking yeah, show i'm watching out, yeah. no i am definitely not I, I don't know if you look at it like this guy that the this this guy that the are you going that you that, going that, that more or less came from nothing like when you in terms of like having a pot like having not a posh family but like having a uh, a family that was out there known by the social media and stuff like that it's if you like get me a millionaire but like more poetic 
yeah exactly but like having a family that's known by any social media or anything like we're, like my family name is just no one you know it would never be on anybody's radar other than the governments to take taxes and that's it do you know what i mean so like to come from there to like fingers crossed hopefully be something then that'll be a great movie to fucking promote <laughs> or t- tv show to promote and There's yes one more TV I like, show i want to mention i like what you've one done there mark i don't want to promote my channel on the podcast because i'm not that type of guy no what i said was <laughs> i didn't want to promote the podcast on my channel yet because i have different plans about promoting the channel or the podcast on my channel that is why and i haven't said it to you yet because the plans can't happen just yet because i don't have enough of something so that's why all right so uh, and it's not as if we get thousands of fucking views on here anyway so who's gonna even bother like you know even listening to an hour and fucking 50 minutes uh, to just hear me say oh my channel name nobody anyway all right go on yeah, there's one one last show I'm just gonna quickly mention, and then we can move on. Uh, it's called Sense It. It's on Netflix. It was uh, done by the one of the Witch House for the Matrix. It's oh Nathan, oh Nathan. I can already see the disappointment here in his face, but I'm just gonna carry on anyway. Uh, Aaron, Sense I it. Uh, I think your people are calling you home. What, what do you mean? was trying to get beamed up there what <laughs> oh yeah because he was because he sounded like a fucking alien what the fuck happened there eat the um... photo <laughs> okay but anyway, the Wachowskis who uh, made the ma- matrix one of them okay anyway the Wachowskis <laughs> Like, come on, kitty, <laughs> kitty, kitty. Was, yeah, sense it on Netflix about a bunch of people that have a have... mental connection. Eight people from around the world, all born at the sa- on the same day at the exact same time. Uh, they are able to um, basically communicate with each other, get each other's abilities or well talents, and use them to their effect. And it's 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 and it's about them going up against a company who do not like. Can I just ask something? Can I just ask something? How many yeah. how many people are on this earth? This is a question uh, everybody. Eight billion. How many people are on this earth? Eight billion. Eight billion. And they say there is a birth every second. Yeah. Okay. So only eight. Yeah, because there's these. But you understand people. where I'm going with this. Well, called sense it. Right, but you, un- wait, 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 wait. you understand where I'm going with this. No, no, no. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Right, you've elaborated. In packs you've of elaborated. Eight, they all have a mental connection. Okay. So, called sense it. It's, 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 it's not something. It's not a big deal, but um, I can see where you, I can see where you're going with that. But yeah, it's it's packs of eight people there's a bunch of different like packs of people that have connections it's it's a uh, t- it's two seasons long it's fantastic it, the production value like it, the like the budget for each for every episode was 10 million the shot on location around the world it's fantastic show i would highly 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 recommend it because it, it got cancelled because uh, it was too expensive to make and there wasn't enough people watching it and Net- Netflix didn't promote it enough because like if something doesn't you know you know jump up or get popular without promotion Netflix isn't going to push it because they've put out so much content at the same time put, they put up put out so much content every day that they, they, they don't have a, they don't have enough money to promote every show they put out so whatever people start talking about they'll start promoting mm-hmm. so th- that's basically how that works but since it wasn't talked about enough but it's a fan fantastic show that a lot of people should watch on uh, fans loved it so much that they forced netflix to 
to do a, a two hour movie to wrap it up because they cancelled it on a massive cliffhanger. So, and all of the passion from the fans got them to, you know, wrap it up. So it is well, wrapped up. It's a fucking great show. Would, highly you, recommend it. Wouldn't you think that passion that got them to uh, do a two hour movie? last episode should have pushed Netflix enough to actually keep doing the series well the thing is uh, whichever Wachowski I think it was Lana Wachowski that um, that um, did the show but she actually wrote an entire script for a third season so it was up to Netflix to greenlight the season but I, they just didn't think it was they didn't they just didn't want to promote it and didn't want to put the money in to make the episodes because 10 million episode it's i don't really think there's any other i think witcher is probably the latest series that sort of makes up that budget but it already has a massive following pre-existing audience behind it so it was easy enough to to get that and consider so considering the amount of people that watched it when it when it launched being the second biggest series after stranger things which you know it's got three years worth of fans. It's it's you know it's madness, but yeah. So there's that. But, so uh, sensei is what you would do. Uh, yeah. All right.